This is the situation that we find ourselves in going in today's episode. We played three games in the league, we drew two, we lost one. We are still looking for our first win in the league. With a game in hand, we are currently at the bottom of the table. So in today's episode, we need to win at least one of the two games. Can we do it? I don't know. Haven't played my episode yet. Hey guys, this is Jared and welcome back to another episode of Rex to Ridges, a football manager story. We are in Burgas, Bulgaria with our mighty Nefto Kimik. No, I didn't remember the name. I just read it here. And as you can see, guys, we are bottom of the table. Nine points from ten games. We've, we've played three games in the league. We drew twice. We lost once. And in today's episode, we're going to have two very difficult games both of them away and both of them in the league so um <clears throat> yeah without further ado man let's go we, we we need to win we need to win the first game because i forgot against who it is uh i believe it is against uh, locomotive gorna who are currently 15 so this is doable a win here is doable, guys. We've just came from a very nice win against Tsarko Selo in the Bulgarian Cup. Tsarko Selo who are playing in the Premier League in Bulgaria. So probably, okay, they came down with, um, with their um, reserve squad or anything. They overestimate, they underestimated us. Um, but anyway, a win is a win. A win is a win. So we are going. We have Kolev still injured, our keeper. And we also have Chahov, who is slightly injured. This is why Tashev is playing as a central defender and Zemyarski is playing on the left. For the rest, as I said in my previous episode, I'm going to try and keep all the, all the, the, as much as possible, the same players on the pitch. So we would, uh, team, we would like improve our team cohesion and stuff. Without further ado, let's go. Um, I truly think that this game is winnable. When I usually say this, we end up losing 5-6-0. So, yeah, but I have to be honest, deep down in my heart, I think this is doable. So, let's see. Okay, so... Off we go. Let's give them a nice pep talk. The media have been on our backs for ages now. This is your chance to go out there and stick it to them by proving them wrong. With outstretched arms, we can... No. Pump fists. Yeah. Let's do it. Everyone seems motivated. Well, not everyone, but a few. <laughs> so off we go. Come on. We are uh, playing in a green shirt. They are playing in a whitish shirt. So, um, let's do it. Come on. It, the, 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 the table is very, like, it's still tight. Like, a win today would give us 12, would put us 12 points. That would put us, like, 13th place. Um, so, everything is still very, very possible. But um, it won't be possible unless we start winning. <laughs> we start winning league games anyway first highlight of the match come on oh what a goal what a goal from Ivan Vinkov second goal of the season for him 19 minutes into the match and we take the lead apart from the last game in the league we've always took the lead remember the first game we went 1-0 up then we went 2-1 up and then we finally drew it then in the second game we played we went one nil up and they drew in the 81st minute and the last match we didn't score and two nil two nil two nil tashev no disallowed 25 we're playing well though 
We are playing well. Was he offside? He was offside, yes. Um, let's wait for this highlight and then we'll give them a shout. Come on. Oh! Jesus, what a goal! I didn't even know that this player existed. Sonkov. Oh yeah, he's the... He is the deep playing playmaker, I believe. So <laughs> let's praise the lads. Well done. I told you in the last episode that a win against that team in the cup could boost our morales and give us new hopes. And this is exactly what's happening. We're destroying this team here. We're tuning up. We had a goal is allowed and we had another, another. We don't know how to score normal goals, guys. Three Euro goals we scored. Chanev. It's three goals from outside the box. Let's see. Was he outside the box? Well. On the line. Like. 3 nil In 40 minutes. Praise them. Praise them. Come on. See, I told you. We're now 11th with this win. And if we win the next match, which is going to be hard, we can we can go up the ladder, climb up the ladder a bit. So, end of the first half. Um, yeah, let's tell them to keep it up. Everyone looks inspired and motivated. Um, what a first half performance from the lads, man. Three Euro goals. Three Euro goals. Come on, let's go and... Pen. That's the first pen for us. Since we took charge. Who's taking it? I never assign um, penalty takers or anything. Kostov makes them four. Four nil. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Four nil. I told you in the intro, I swear. I recorded. I always record the intros before I actually play the episode. So I didn't know. I haven't played the games yet, so and I said in the intro that we needed at least one, one win, and uh, looks as if it's coming. Looks as if it's coming. Um, before we see this highlight, let's do some changes to keep everyone fresh. Filipov, who is on a yellow, will leave for Danchev. Ivanov didn't score yet, right? So we're gonna leave him there. Um, who else, who else, who else? Vinkov, who scored, will leave this place for Yordanov. The other Yordanov will leave the place for Zekov. Yes. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Balinov will go in for... <clears throat> Tashev, who's on a 6.5. And off we go. Let's do it. Come on. What a performance. Okay. So, four substitutions out of five have been made. I'm just waiting for... Uh, what's his name? Ivanov to score. But Kostov doubles his telly here. From another free kick. He scored three since we took charge. Two of them from free kick and one of them from a pen. So he is a um, set piece taker. He's our set piece taker. Come on. Come on. This is the new beginning. This is the start of a new beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Here at Naftokimik. Have I just remembered the name of my team? Have I just remembered the name of my team? Neftokimik. I think I just did. I think I just did, man. Anyway, our first win in the league after four games. And what a win. Away, 5-0. What a win. A very nice victory. Well done. Blah, 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 blah. I hate the screen. Sports Interactive, I hate the screen. Um, just to let you know, 
Okay, so give me two seconds and we'll come back. I think we're playing Sozopol. Sozopol, I think. Either Sozopol or Sportist. I think Sozopol. See you on the pitch. See you there. Okay, guys, so a slight change to the original schedule. And this is a proof that the intro is recorded before I actually play the, the, the games. Um, I played against Minior Pernik. I thought I was recording it, but um, for some reason OBS stopped recording. And I only got to know once I went to edit the footage. Uh, so I came back, like we drew 1-1 away to Minior Pernik. We went down, then we had a goals allowed in the beginning of the second half for nothing, the ref disallowed it um, for um, offside. It was not an offside by a mile. Anyway, then we scored uh, very late in the game, I think in the 89th minute from Nikolai Kostov from a pen. So I came back and instead of showing the Minior Pernik match, we will play against Hebar, who are currently six. We're gonna play them home. And um, in order, like th that draw, against Pernik still left us um, 13th so now at the moment we are uh, three points above like relegation zone but we're still far away from the mid table that we need to end up in order to keep our job <laughs> um, so a win today against Hebar might help us out to climb a bit the ladder it's not going to be easy but we have the home factor um in for in our favor so let's go this is the formation i'm going with basically i'm gonna play tashev on the right kostov on the left well kostov on the right tashev on the left chahov and marim in the middle tsonkov chanev and filipov and uh jordanov vinkov and ivanov up front so hopefully we can um well i know it's not gonna be an easy match but uh, lately, we've been playing very well at home. Um, although we lost our uh, last game, I think, home. But uh, lately, overall, we've been playing well. Because even if we drew in the last match, the, the, the game that I thought I was um, recording, but I wasn't, we still played very well. And we were the better team by far. Um, so there's good positive signs coming out of these matches hopefully today we can win it we can win it and climb a bit the table here um 10 minutes nothing happened so let's demand more immediately this keeps changing and i hate it 20 minutes nothing happened two shots on target we had they are the greens we are the whites so they have possession at the moment Let's see if we can win back the ball and counter or or what not. Uh, we got possession for a second there, but we gave it away. They're still on the attack. Uh, let's not concede. We will con Ooh! Oh my god, what an opportunity they had there. Anyway, 30 minutes. Let's stop the... Let's pause a bit. Let's the let's fire them up. Come on, overwhelmed. Jesus Christ. These shouts never been used. They've never been of any use. And they score. Thirty-seven minutes into the game, and they take the lead. End of the first half. I really had high hopes for this game. So I am going to pump the fist outstretch. Oh no. Thresh arms. Is this a spelling mistake? Uh, I'm far from pleased. And I'm going on attack. And I will demand more. Come on. Come on, Ivanov. It's one against ten. <laughs> he leaves it to Chanev. Come on. Filipov! Oh, he has it in him. He has it in him. It was close. But not close enough. Not good enough. 
Uh, anyone is playing shite? Not really. Let's berate them. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. We can still salvage something from this game. Come on, Filipov. It's a good run. Oh, come on. Why Why would you shoot from there? Why would you shoot from there? You break them and they're all fired up now. So, finally, after like 10 years of shouts, I got it right. The more you insult them, the more hap the happier they are. That's how this game works. And the header goes over the bar. So, let's do some changes. Ivanov will leave for Usain. Um, Tsonkov. Not really, though. Mm. You know what? I'm going to put Tsonkov up here. And um, I'm going to substitute him with Dunchev. Confirm changes. And off we go. Come on. Come on. Stop. Shouts. Berate. Come on. Yes, Vinkov. Come on, buddy. Do something. Oh, nice, 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 nice! Offside, offside, offside. Offside, that was offside. Come on, let's go again. Come on, one last chance. One last chance. Only a few seconds left on the clock. Come on, boys, come on. One last effort. Vinkov. Come on. One last cross, Vinkov. Come on. Corner, corner, corner. Come on. Let's do this. Kostov. Someone with the header. No. Kostov again for another cross. What's the... Is it a pen? Oh, no. That's the goal is allowed. Okay. Is it over? Yeah, it is. Ah... That was a lost opportunity, guys. I'm far from pleased. Yep. I'm far from flipping pleased. And this is not going to be easy. It is not going to be easy. Not at all. So we suffer our second defeat in the league since we took charge. And now there's another break, apparently. Let's have a look. Yep. Jesus Christ, there's like... 21 day break now. And then we'll come back with the match against Karyana away, who are 6th. And Sofia, who are 2nd. Hmm. It's going to be a lovely episode, next one. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to Chevy New. My name is Jerry Dean. Until next time, stay safe and bye bye.